What's up, Pisces? Pisces, what's up? It's my motherfucking Pisces. We are best beauty, baby. Y'all know what the little red is. Let's go. For my motherfucking Pisces, bitch. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. For my motherfucking Pisces. Let's get it. Spirit angels answer high so I like this. Like this. this is Archie Michael Pisces. Take me as my social media energy spirit. Let's see what the let's see what the facts is. We're gonna get into the facts. Let's see <laughs> what's going on for Pisces. Pisces. Spirit angels answer high so I like. What's up for the Pisces collective? Pisces Collective. This is going on for the Pisces Collective. If you would like a general, if you would like a personal read, my information is in the bottom of the description box below. Okay. I want to make love to you. Ooh, Pisces. They want to make love to you, Pisces. This is somebody that wants to make love to you, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I'm ready to stop hiding from you. This is somebody that's ready to stop hiding from you. They're ready to show themselves. It's uh, Pisces, you could have a secret admirer here. Somebody could really want to tap that ass. Somebody that's been secretly admiring you, somebody could you could have a secret admirer. They could really want to tap that ass. And they ready to show they ready to show you that they can uh -huh. <laughs> they the one. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Let us put my Pisces good. <laughs> anything else for anything else for the Pisces spirit? Anything else for them? Anything goes for them? Okay. If it's not you, I don't want no one else at the bottom that's at the bottom of the deck. And we got I feel so much pain. Ooh, past they depressed. I come over. They fucked up. They fucked up. They depressed, Pisces. I'm ready to tell you how I feel about you. Ooh, this person. I'm getting the energy of somebody has really been bottling their emotions. Somebody has really been um, hiding how they feel is what I'm really getting for you, Pisces. This is somebody that they just they just ready to let their emotions flow. They tired of holding back. They tired of holding that shit in because they about to blow, bitch. They about to blow, bitch. They ready to see how they feel. Somebody could want to buy you some white roses. This motherfucker crying. This motherfucker's in shambles. What's my Pisces? If not you, then who? They wondering, if not you, then who? Shit. Yeah, fresh start. Oh, this is my Pisces. <laughs> didn't I say, I said, didn't I tell you that I said that? I, I felt that energy. I felt that energy. I knew it. You got a secret admirer. I told you that. This is somebody that, there's there's somebody that spy on you. There's somebody that want to talk to you, and they watch you and spy on you. You have a secret admirer here. And then you got somebody else over here. I'm getting old and new energy. You got somebody new that want to talk to you, and you got somebody old that betrayed you, and this person want to apologize to you. You got new and old energy here. You got a new motherfucker and you got a past motherfucker. Yup, compromise. Mm. Okay, boom. I see what I'm getting here. This is what's going on for my Pisces spirit. Yeah, this motherfucker got a lot of emotions for you. Whoever this new motherfucker is, oh, they feeling you, bitch. They got a lot of emotions for you. Yeah. Toxic. Toxic wanted to come out, I feel. So I feel like already what I'm feeling here is there is somebody from your past that wants to apologize to you. This is somebody that betrayed you. This person always seems to find their way back to you. Back to home. I feel like you I feel like you provide stability. 
you provide security for this person so they always come back to you. This somebody that's fucking toxic that you need to set boundaries with. This somebody that you feel like you're settling. You feel like you're settling with this person. What I feel like here, okay. I feel like you feel like you're settling with this person is what I feel. Um, I feel like this is somebody that they always disappoint you. They always do you wrong. And this is somebody that feel like they can always just give you a gift. They can buy you shit. They can buy you shit and they feel like it's going to make shit better. Buy you, buy you a ring. Take you out to eat to some expensive ass restaurant. Dick you down. Give you the dick. You know what I'm saying? Do it the way they know you like it. Buy you something. Take you on a, take you on a, on a trip or some shit. They just going to do some extravagant shit or they're going to do something. They're going to buy you a gift or they're going to do something to get you to take them back to win you over again. Just to fuck, just to fuck you over again here. And I feel like this new beginning is here because this is a new start from, from the most high. This is a new opportunity. This is a fresh beginning. This is you, um, you believing in yourself, knowing your potential. Knowing that there is better that awaits you in the future here. But I do feel like you have fears starting over. That's what I'm really getting here. You want to start over, but I feel like you have a fear of starting over. Because I feel like with, with somebody new. Because I feel like you think a lot about this person. This is somebody you definitely got a family with. With the family car here. A lot of you guys can have a newborn baby you just had. And you have fears of starting over because... You always go back to your past. You always go back to how much you invested, how much you put into a situation that you felt like you only got fucked over in. You got fucked over in this situation. And you always go back to thinking about that person you had that family with. You always go back to the past. You always think about how that ended up. How you let somebody in, how you trusted somebody, and they betrayed your trust. They betrayed your trust. I'm also getting the energy of, like I said, this person always come back to you because they feel like you're security. They know they got a plate of food waiting. They know they got a roof over their head. They can take a shower. They know they got a bed to sleep in because they ain't got shit without you. They ain't got shit without you. And I feel like spirit is telling you that there is somebody else that really admires you. This person spy on you. They watch you on they watch you on their phone late at night. If you if you're on social media, if you got a YouTube, if you got a TikTok, if you're on Facebook, whatever you got, they watch you on it. If you're on Snapchat, whatever, they watch you on that. And this person, they got a lot of feelings for you and they don't even know you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody got a lot of feelings for you, they don't even know you. Somebody ready to love you, they're ready to cherish you, they're ready to give you what it is that you want. But in order to have this new start. It's up to you. God want us to have prosperity, abundance. God want us to be happy, fulfilled in life. It's our birthright. But you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. You understand? We have free will, though. We have free will. Your, your angels will try to guide you down the route that they know is best for you, that they feel is best for you. But we have free will. So if you don't take the opportunities that spirit places upon you, you're only keeping yourself on the hamster wheel. You only keep yourself going round and round in a circle, round and round in a circle over and over again, going through the same shit, repeating the same cycles until you get enough, until you learn, until you understand your worth, until you, until you understand that you deserve more, you deserve better, and until you set boundaries with this motherfucker and you know what I'm saying? You set boundaries, friends on this motherfucker and um, let them know you ain't settling because right now you settling, baby. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. So there's a new exciting start that's coming in for you. There's a fresh new start full of excitement waiting for you. 
the world is a, a big ass place. Like she said on Puerto Justice, a world is a big girl. The world is a big ass place for us to go out here and fuck up in it. <laughs> like she said, <clears throat> like she saw his ass in the back of the truck. Cause I ain't in the business of keeping no niggas that don't want to be kept. Like she said in the back of that truck. Like damn, you can't get it. You can't get it up for five minutes. Damn, nigga, you can't get it up for five minutes. That's why I'm fucking somebody else. Like what she said. <laughs> but this probably why. This probably this probably why you fucking somebody. This probably why you want to fuck somebody else. Cause this motherfucker can't even get it up for five motherfucking minutes. They can't last, bitch. Or, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker just ain't man enough. <laughs> so you want something new. You want something fresh. You want something new and exciting. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, I'm pulling at the Jesses, bitch. <laughs> yeah. You feel the future. Like I said, you feel change. You feel change. You feel the future. There's a new start. A new start is full of adventure. Traveling the world. Going to different countries. You may even want to visit Bor Bor, Dor Dor, where the fuck? <laughs> where the fuck that country was? Where it was? Bor Bor, Dor Dor. Y'all know the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> you know the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all can want to even visit another country and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? But I feel like you fear change. You fear change. You fear the future. You fear destiny. Yeah, you think a lot. You 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 just contemplate. You sit, you contemplate a lot, you think a lot. You lay in your bed and you just think. Even when you go even when you're trying to go to sleep, you could even be kind of restless. You could be trying to like just sleep. You some of you guys could also meditate. You could go into meditation. But I feel like you're you're dreaming and you're thinking a lot. You're very up in your head space a lot. You think a lot about this person you had a family, you have a family with, or you had a family with. Yeah. Somebody spy on a third party here. Somebody spies on you. Or someone spies on a third party. I feel like you fear, you fear moving into another situation and somebody putting you in another, in, in another third party situation. You in the energy of sharing somebody, you sharing, you sharing the person that you with or somebody else being involved. There's somebody else in the picture and, and you know, you being the talk of the town, there's gossip. Everybody's talking about how, oh, your nigga fucking with this bitch or your nigga talking to somebody else. Yo, you know, just a motherfucking embarrassing you and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I feel like you 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 worry about being put in that, that type of situation. That's what I'm getting here. <sighs> Too many cards. Let me see if I can take the uh Too many. I'm gonna take it though. <laughs> yeah, there's a secret admirer here. This is somebody that this somebody that they ready to give you they ready to come correct. Somebody there's a you have a secret admirer here. This is somebody that's found you. They want commitment with you. This somebody want to come. They want. They want to commit. They know what they want. This somebody that knows what they want. They want marriage. They want commitment. They know what they want. They know it. Whoever this new person is, they know. They they know what the fuck they want. Yeah. Right when I said it, didn't I tell you? Yeah. Look it up. This motherfucker want. This motherfucker want to give you. Yeah. They want a relationship. They want to give. They want to give you. This is somebody that. 
they want to give you you know emotional stability insecurity within a, within within a relationship this is somebody that's going to they're going to give you security and they're going to give you emotional stability within this connection here this is somebody where the love is going to be reciprocated they're going to love you as much as you love them it's going to be an equal give and take or equal give and see in this connection here this is not something that's going to be one-sided this is somebody that's going to commit to you they're going to commit and they're going to provide for you. They're going to love and protect you. That's who the fuck this new person is here. And they going to, y'all going to be able to communicate with each other. Because this person, they're they're emotionally mature. So they're going to express their feelings. They, they going to, they're going to be able to know how to express their feelings to you. And this could be an Aries that, that you're going to meet. Or this could be a um, Taurus that you're going to meet. Or a Libra. Yeah, this person want to talk to you. They admire you. They, admire, they yeah, they want your attention, baby. They want your attention, and you inspire them. Yeah, and then this other motherfucker over here. This motherfucker do this shit intentionally. Whoever this past person is, this motherfucker do this shit. In, this the five of swords. That's intentional. This motherfucker low vibe. They a low vibe ass motherfucker. Low vibe. This motherfucker do this shit. They intentionally do the shit they do. The false school, that's intentional. They intentionally betray you because they feel like all they got to do is dangle a carrot in your face. All they got to do is throw some money at you, take you on a trip, buy you something, and you're going to forget their ass. That's, how, that's, 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 what this, that's who this motherfucker is. Yeah. This somebody who don't respect you. They don't respect you. They have no fucking respect for you at all. That's who this is. This somebody has no respect for you here. At the fuck all. They treat you like a little hoe. This somebody that also could have intentionally tried to ruin your reputation or give you some type of bad rep. And talk to, and talk they talk shit about you. And they talk shit about your ass. Yeah, now they want to fucking apologize. Yeah, now they stressed out. Now they stressed out. Now they want to apologize to you. After what the fuck they did. <sighs> mm -mm. Okay, make sure this ain't in the, okay. It ain't in the reverse. Okay, yeah. Somebody do not want some shit in the towel in reverse. You you could dealing with the Scorpio with the towel in reverse. This motherfucker want to apologize. Because they don't want this shit in. Somebody keep trying to hold on to some shit. The tower in reverse is somebody that's... This, this motherfucker trying so hard to hide some shit. This somebody trying to hide something. They trying so hard to keep some shit hidden. They don't want some shit to come out. At all. The tower in reverse is somebody that's trying to hold on to something that God is trying to... Basically destroy. God is trying to end. Put an end into... Because something was built on a faulty foundation. If anything was built on lies, deceit, dishonesty, it wasn't built with integrity, spirit is going to end it. Spirit is going to tear it down. Somebody keep trying to hold on to something that needs to be let go of, that needs to be teared down. Because it has to be rebuilt. You cannot build something on a faulty foundation. Somebody keep holding on. They keep holding on for dear life. Yeah, somebody's being blocked from coming towards you. The person could be trying to come to you. They being blocked. They're being blocked because they need to go through a rebirth. Somebody need to go through a rebirth. They need to get it and they need to fucking change. Yeah, somebody could have bought you a home. They could have paid and bought, bought, bought you a home here. This is somebody that could be giving you money to take care of kids as well here. Yeah, why would I say kids? Yeah, this person, this person could be paying child support. This person, this, the spirit is blocking this person from you though. You, you're indifferent. You don't want to hear shit. This person got to say, you don't want to hear their apology. You don't want to hear shit. Same shit, different day. What's the compromise card? Yeah. This person, yeah, this person, is in, this person is in some type of long-term relationship already. That's what they got to let go of. They got to let go of this, yeah. Yeah, they feel stuck. They feel stuck. They feel trapped. 
the person feels stuck and trapped in some other commitment. But they betrayed you and tried to ruin your reputation and, and, and make it seem like you was a hoe that you sleep around or some shit. Not even not as stressed out because they, they having a hard time apologizing to you. This is somebody that feels trapped in another situation here. This person also could be applying for jobs. This person could be jobless. They ain't got no damn job either. Yup, and they stress the fuck out. They stress the fuck out about coming towards you because they worried about some type of action they took. They reacted, they rushed into some shit too quickly. They rushed into some other shit, got with somebody else, now they ass feel stuck and trapped with that other person. What else for Pisces? Yeah. Somebody also, somebody could also have a child with somebody at a distance. Somebody could have a child with somebody in another country. They could have a child with somebody overseas as well. This is also somebody want to go. This is also somebody want to go on a, on a, on a vac on a vacation. They want to take. They want to go on a, like a trip. I'm also getting that too. But somebody definitely got a child at a distance overseas somewhere. Like I said, this is also somebody that's planning to take you on a, like a little trip as well. Planning to take you on a little trip. <laughs> Nothing major. Like a little small trip. Because they ain't got no damn money to pay for no big expensive ass trip. So many, yeah. Uh, there's something changing here. Somebody has emotionally, it's, somebody's emotionally detached from a situation here. So there's there's a new relationship. There's new relationship, a, a new love coming in. Yeah, while somebody else's feelings has changed, there's a new love coming in. Yeah. Somebody is secretly also attracted to a person another person here. This could have been in the past. Somebody is secretly attracted. Somebody is definitely sexually attracted. To somebody else. Somebody has a mistress. They had a mistress in the past. They're secretly attracted to another person. They think about this person all the time. Yeah. Somebody was lying. Somebody was lying about having sex with somebody else in the past. They lied. Somebody lied. They were yeah, that's what it was. Somebody had a somebody had a mistress and they lied about having sex with this person. They was having sex with this other person. And they somebody is addicted to somebody's sex. They love the sex. The sex is bum as fuck. They feel like the sex is bum as fuck. They're addicted, yeah. Somebody rushed into a relationship or they rushed into a marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So in the past, somebody was having sex, had a secret lover somewhere, having sex, and then they were sneaking off, going back to their family. What the fuck they was doing? Yeah, they was definitely keeping. There was there was definitely secret. There was lies, deceptions, and secrets within the family here. Point blank, period. Tower for Pisces to tower. Yep, it ain't going nowhere. Somebody want to apologize. I told you, somebody want to apologize. You ain't trying to hear that shit. They being blocked from you anyway because you know that shit ain't going nowhere. The hangman, or you ain't taking that shit nowhere because the hangman is your energy, Pisces. You ain't taking that shit nowhere. You leaving a motherfucker on red, leaving their ass on red, leaving their ass on stuck. That shit ain't going nowhere. You know, motherfucker, all oh, they do the same shit. They fuck up and apologize. Fuck up and apologize. Fuck up and apologize. All the fuck they do. Fuck up and apologize. And think they could buy a motherfucking gills to make some shit better. Yeah, somebody want to talk to you about coming towards you. There's somebody else that want to talk about coming towards you. Yeah, this person is jealous of you, though. They jealous because you could be you could be a star. You could be in the public eye in some way. You're very talented here. And they jealous. Point blank, period. Yeah. This motherfucker is... This motherfucker is, they don't have no emotions. They emotionally detached. They emotionally detached. Like, you walk away from this person. There's somebody you walked away from that you feel like he is, they show no emotions. 
they're emotionally detached. This is somebody who's very like logical. They could be narcissistic. They're very logical. They make head over heart decisions. This is somebody that's definitely materialistic. They all about they all about their material world. This is somebody is all about, you know, fame, money, success, status, shit like that. It's all the fuck they're about. Always do fucked up shit. Then want to then want to make you the blame. Makes like it's your fault, or or you the fucking or you the one to fucking blame for they fuck ups. Want to try to make you feel guilty and shit. Want to play on your want to play on your heartstrings and shit. Yeah, you feel like you're settling. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio, or you you could you could be dealing with Scorpio. Or it's a Scorpio here, but somebody they just feel like they're settling. Somebody wants some shit to be over with. It's over. Somebody thought like they settling it in. This is your energy. You focus on self love. You're in something you feel like you're selling it, and you're, and you're focused on loving yourself. Focus on self love, pouring into you, pouring into your own self. Yeah, came into you, spoiling you. You've been with this person for a long time, could have been with this person for a while, for a long time here. And you just feel bored and discontent with this motherfucker. Yeah. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could, you could be dealing with an, um, an Aquarius. A Libra, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, like yourself, Scorpio, or um, Gemini. You could be dealing with, or you could be dealing with the Pisces, like yourself. Well, that's what I have for you. Um, let me, yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Let me get this for you. Let me get some of this for y'all too. So then I say somebody watching you, bitch. Somebody spying on your ass. They watching you. You could definitely be in the public eye in some way. Yeah, you have a deep knowing. You have a, you already know what it is. This is your energy right here. You already know. You very intuitive. You know what it is. Pisces are Pisces, Pisces people are very like psychic. Like they already know what's up. You already know this. You already know what you need to do. Ain't no need to even. Body got ain't nobody gotta tell you that tell you what's up. You already know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Owls can be very significant for you. That's what I see. Yeah. Yeah. You're going through a transformation. Or this person is, but somebody's going from the dark to the light here. Yeah, somebody coming back around again. Somebody from your past is coming back around. This person could be going through some type of transformation, but they coming back around here. Chart wood. Yeah, somebody want to mend some shit. Y'all know somebody want to mend some shit. Somebody that you had, yeah, somebody that, that they, they always have a lot of drama. They, they always have a lot of drama. They always come in with a lot of bullshit. It's always drama. You always argue, fight with this person. always conflict with this person. You're walking away from this person because you feel like it's the same shit. Never in this story. You ready for something to change. This person come back around. They gonna come around. They gonna come back around saying, "Yeah, I change. I change, Pisces. I change. Yeah, I'm different. I'm a different person now. Ooh, some something could be coming back around just to see if you learned the lesson from it. Just to see if you know what I'm saying. Whatever they could have really changed. Um, you, only you can see that for yourself. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fuck with your girl. Bye.